All right, here we are. Welcome back to episode two of Resident Evil 2. Okay, let's see. So what I was going to... I'm, I'm going to develop this film, and then I'm going to use these keys up. Because I think this only opens one door. Let's come back, check it out just to see. To get it called the heart key. Okay, so you got diamond and heart. All right, let's go. <clears throat> you know, like in the first episode, like it, like we played for two hours, but it feels like we've gone quite a bit into the game already. So let's put this away. Uh, I'll put this away for now too, as well, because there's no hard keys on that side. We'll pick up the hard key on the way back this way. Oh, this is where we got to stay away from the wall, uh, wall, the windows. Yeah, this game gave me a couple of jumps already, which I wasn't expecting because I totally forgot about some of these jumps here. Like the hands in the windows and, uh, oh, what else was there? I'm trying to remember... What else did I jump at? Oh, I guess when I opened the door and there were zombies there. Uh, like, zombies at the loading screen. The door loading screen, I should say. Okay. Let's develop film. Film A. There's uh, T-Rex, not T-Virus. Tyrant, yeah. Code G human body experiment. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's about it. Okay, we got that out of the way. I guess we can grab this. I thought we were gonna get... I don't know why I thought we were gonna get something else. Okay. So basically that roll of film was just a, uh, what do you call it, story building, or world, world building I should say. You know, looking online, I see that Resident Evil 3 for, like the, the Resident Evil 3 remake is still pretty high up in price. It's like $66 on Amazon.ca. Yeah. Still expensive. Let's see here. Where was I going? Where was I going again? Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to use these keys here. Yeah, I was hoping to at least find Resident Evil 3 for $40 at least, but it's still up there even though the game is like six seven months old okay okay there we go Let's see here oh Okay. Oh, I missed uh, I missed a door, but uh, let's check out this area first. The diamond, useless, discard. And then there's the heart key, which leads us to a, a stairway, so. 
Oh, look at this. We have some stuff here. Will you take the cord? Yes. I don't know what that cord is for. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think it's to close the shutters in the hallway. And then there's this. Will you take the F8 spray? Yes. It feels like something's supposed to jump through here. Just in case. Okay, nothing here. All right, let's get let's get ready. Rook plug. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> I was prepared for that, and I still jumped. Got him. Ho ho ho. Alright, you know what? We will save the F8 spray and use this. I'm disappointed in myself. I was still expect I was expecting something to I was expecting to for it to jump as I was still standing here. But yeah. I guess it jumps through when I'm walking by. I should have known better. Okay, let's see here. Check. A cord to connect wires on small on small electric devices. Let's see here. Okay, I don't know if I should go back to that hallway with the uh, zombies. And close the shutter or maybe it's for something else up ahead hmm okay you know what I think I'm gonna go to connect that uh, that shutter thing because I think it'll save me some trouble like in the long run okay let's go check it out Go back to over there. Because <sighs> I think if I close these shutters up ahead, hold on, I'm gonna put this rook away. There we go, and we'll wait. I'll actually, we'll switch this first aid spray with this. But still, we have the hard key. Okay. Yeah, this. I think if I close these shutters, um, the zombies the zombies won't repopulate this area when I come need to come back here, or maybe it will make a difference in Claire's game. An open close switch for shutter uh, can't be activated since the cord is cut. Okay, let's fix that. There we go. Wonder what's up with this now. The cord will show or sort out soon. Hmm. Okay, if it says it'll sort out soon. Hmm. If that wasn't the if that wasn't the right thing to do, then uh, I will find out later on. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, down to the other area. I 
I am running, I'm starting to run a little bit low on ammo here. So far, I've just been getting barely enough bullets for the zombies I've been running into. Okay, I missed... I missed the door again. Looks like it was a one-time use key. Oh, look at this. Do I have room? Okay, I'll, I will keep in mind that these things are here. And this goes upstairs, or? Hmm. Okay, I'll keep in mind that those are there. I'll collect them if need be. Oh. I think I needed the shutter. Oh no. This is gonna suck. Okay, you know what? I am going to uh, reload and quickly come here. We're gonna jump cut. Alright, welcome back. Okay, so I basically played through that area, this area again, uh, up to this point from my previous save, and I'm going to use this uh, cord here. Let us do this. There we go. This is the place where I should have used it. Okay, what's this? Oh, finally. Oh, didn't think there was nothing there. A club. Hmm. Gotta find a club now. Okay, what's what's down here? Sounds like something that requires a shotgun. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Is that a dog? That is a dog. Where's the other one? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Sounds like it's coming from this way. Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's make a run for it. Ah. Okay. Caution. Use. Ah. Oh, they're, they're surrounding me. Okay. Oh. What happened? Oh, blew their head off. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm still fine. I'm just out of bullets now. Well, at least I still got my trusty little semi-automatic handgun here. Okay, the hallway is clear now. Do I have a map for this place? Okay, there are a couple of doors. I think I will try this way first. Autopsy room. It's locked. 
A club. Okay. Uh, what's behind this door here? Sounds like more dogs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh Smigger runs for it. Oh. Okay, uh, what is. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, what, what is over here? What is... Hold on. Map. Okay, hold on. Map. Okay, there's something here. I just don't know what it is. Hmm. What what the heck is this? What what is at the end of this place here? Hmm. It's like okay. I was brought to this end here. The manhole lid is open. A ladder leads down. Will you go down? No, not yet. Yeah, I guess, you know, I underestimate, um, this gun is, uh, actually effective. Yeah, the dogs are really, really up in the difficulty of this part of the game here. Okay. Oh yes, just what I need. At least some of the, something. Okay, good. Pretty much full health now. Hmm, what's this? Police B map one, will he take it? Yes. It's a pretty big basement. Anything else around here? This looks like it should be something, but it's... Nothing has let me click. Reserve power control panel. Power can be routed to areas with insufficient power using these five switches. Using all the power may cause a shortage and cut the power supply. It's a switch. Will you move it up or down? Um, down. It's a switch. We'll move it up and down. Up. Oh. Uh, up again. Okay. Down. Up. Nope. Power supply too high. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. I guess we go up first, then we'll go up again, and we'll go down, and then down, and hopefully up will work. Look at that! Power supply okay. Oh, nice. Okay, hopefully that's a save room with some items in there. And supplies. Okay, yeah, this is the door that uh, it opened. Oh. Oh. Sounds pretty noisy out there. Okay, let's check what's in here. Weapon storage. 
It's electronically locked. There's a card reader on the right, on the left. Power to the card reader is on. Well, I guess we don't have a card. Hmm. What is this? It's nothing. Oh, it's Ada. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Okay. Sure thing. Okay, but first let me just take a look around here. Can't go any further. Green herb. Yes. The handbrake is loose, but I can't move it alone. Okay, um... What do I do? Oh, there we go. I guess we go in here. Ada, wait. Hmm. Where are we now? Oh, I see. Sooner or later, we got to go down in the sewers. Where did she go? <laughs> yes. Control panel release the lock. Lock appears to be open. Okay, what's behind here? Hmm. Some plants. Blue herb. And a green herb. Hmm. I might have to combine these to make room for whatever I might find. Oh. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. 
He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was uh, that? Uh oh. Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Okay, that's where I almost died. Oh, there. Okay. Okay, what is this thing here? Can't carry any more items. Alright. We're just gonna have to combine then. Yes. There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Okay. So this is where I'm supposed to go. But there's two manhole covers. Okay, I better go back to where I can uh, save and use a box. Because it, I'm getting pretty full here. This one is the key. Club key, okay. I need a box and a uh, save room. Oh yeah, and there's these things here too. Just trying to remember where the closest save room is. Okay, um, okay, I think it's the upstairs place.
You know, since I've been running into less and less zombies, I'm gonna put the knife away for now. Free up a spot. Okay, um... Put this stuff here for now. Switch this out with that. Knife goes here. Okay, there we go. Actually, we should save. Gone through all this trouble to make it back this way and use the wire on the shutters I wanted to use. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's put out another one here. This will be my second save to fall, to roll back, well, so I can leave the other one to roll back to just in case something goes awry with this one. Like if, the, if we have a blackout or the power goes out for some reason, sometimes it happens, not all the time, but, you know, just being prepared. Did I put away the ink ribbon? No. Well, back we go. Wait a minute, did I see some red herbs out there? If only going through a door was as quickly as going through an actual door. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, I recently brought the... Well, no, last year I brought the Resident Evil movie, like, live-action movie collection on Blu-ray. The ones with um, Mila, M Mila Jovovich. Yeah, I watched most of them, but I didn't watch the last, last one. They're not very good movies. But um, I brought them just because they were. I got. I brought. I, I brought like I think it was like what f five movies or something. I got them all for twenty bucks. So one of these days I'm gonna watch, sit down and watch a couple of them. Yeah, they also released a couple, a few uh, CGI Resident Evil movies. I have a feeling those ones are a little bit better. I should uh, see if there's a. I, I should see if there's a collection of them because I'm just thinking of Resident Evil movies because I looked on IGN and uh, they just recently. Oh wait, hold on. They um. They recently did some news on uh, a new Resident Evil CGI movie coming to Netflix. I think it's called... I forget what it's called. Okay, I wonder if I should grab these now. Well, I'll grab them now. Okay. Okay, which way did I want to go first? I think I'll go this way. I took care of the dogs over here. Might as well see what's down that manhole over there. Macaw. Dong dong. This looks like a little, little area here. Hmm. It leads further down. Wow. 
Well, golly gee, look at this. There's a save room. There's a save room close by. Oh well. Doing all that traveling, thinking that I was gonna be needing to uh, move stuff. Okay, and I saved. I wonder if there's a. Is there a thing here? No ink ribbons around here close by? Nope, this is just a save room. Okay, let's go inside. Outside. Hmm. Okay, the fence is broken. It is too small for an adult to enter. Too small for an adult? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I kind of wished I kept my Resident Evil um, 1, 2, and 3 on PS1. But I think I sold them, or I gave them away. I was like, yeah, I played through them a couple of times, I might as well give them away. And I wasn't thinking about collecting or anything like that. Well, I couldn't really collect if I... Couldn't really collect if I... Um... Oh. Where are... I think the, the dogs are locked up. Unless... The lid is firmly closed. I might be able to open it with uh, the right tool. Okay, I think the, the dogs are going to pop out if I walk this way. Oh! I grab this, they're probably going to jump out. Yes. Oh, I knew it. There we go. Thank goodness for shotgun. Let's see what they were hiding inside here. Nothing. Well, at least we have a red herb that can double the potency of um, of a green herb. And that those dogs are out of, the, out of the way. Use. There we go. I guess we don't need the uh, crowbar anymore. Or manhole opener. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, we'll keep our gun. Oh, man. Friggin' creepy spiders. <clears throat> I'm surprised they brought back uh, some of the um, non-z- uh, Like, some of the recurring monsters from the first one. The non-zombie monsters. Well, looky here. 
Yes. And look, there's a, a ribbon here. Yes. Okay. I think we should save. Okay, I think... Uh, grab one of these. Combine them. Put this back. Wait, do I have... Is there any more bullets in here? Just wondering. No. None at all. Okay, let's take a look around this room. It's a little typewriter. Uh, sure. Okay, Leon A. Continue saving in this one here. Better take one of these with me. Actually, I think I should save these. Put potent, po, po, potent ones for for later. Okay, I'll grab one of this and leave it for now. Okay, let's go. They should release a Resident Evil PS One collection. Like, on disc or something. For, like, PS5 or whatever. It'd be nice to have... Have some sort of physical remasters. Okay, what's this here? Nothing here. I love... I... I'm a sucker for, um... Collections, bundles, and compilations. Okay, let's see here. It looks like a panel to release the lock. There are descriptions for the plugs. King plug, rook plug, bishop, knight plug. Okay. I don't think I have all of them. I have three. Or maybe I have... I do have them all. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Ada. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Okay, off she goes. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm controlling Ada now. Okay, she has her own stuff. What is this? Check. Browning HP, manufactured by FM Belgium. Belgium. Uses my 9mm rounds. Okay, what's this? Picture. A picture taken fairly recently. Okay, let's see here. Where are we? Oh no, it sounds like a dog. Oh, okay, let's make a run for it. Ah! I don't have anything to take them dogs out with. Okay, um... 
So I came from where again? Sewage disposal map. Okay. Okay, this is not going to do. So I guess I got to move some boxes around. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. This takes us. What's this? Oh, yes. The club key. Nothing else? No. Okay, time to make another... Another mad dash to the other side of wherever that place is. Shotgun shells. Leon will be so happy. The water pipe is under construction. Okay, what do I do here? Is it was I just here to get Okay, I guess I gotta go back. Go back to Leon. So, she basically said, you think we could get upstairs by going up through here? And then, here I am. Wait a minute. There's a place that I'm missing. Is there a hallway that I didn't go down? Because I'm looking at this here, and it doesn't look like... Hmm. Okay, I'm pressing X all over the place.
Think fast. Here's one more. Hmm. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Well, at least we got some items here. Okay, we got the key. Okay, so where do we go now? There's a couple of places we can go. Hmm. So we didn't come through here yet, I don't think. Oh no, wait, we did. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right, we need to check to see... I think we are missing the night plug. Let's go here. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look here. Yes, we have bishop, king, and rook. We need the knight, so I have a feeling when we go back to the police station, we will find it somewhere along the way with the with the, the club key here. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get the heck out of here. Caution. Okay, we'll keep ourselves topped up here. Whereabouts, whereabouts, uh, okay, there's the first room there we can use for the, uh, what do you call it, the club key here. There's two of them. Okay, just in case I get cornered. I'm cornered. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Dang. Oh, great. These guys are going to get up, I know it. I just need to find something important. Yeah, I, I bet, I bet these guys are going to get up as soon as I find that item. Oh, red key card. Yes. No, there they go. There they go. Oh, no, 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 no. Come get some. Slowly come get some. Okay. Combine. Equip. Use the little pea shooter.
Okay, I think that's the end of that for now. What this dude here? He didn't get up. Hmm. Okay, um... I'm gonna take care of those liquors in the... in the hallway there. I'm gonna try to get them together, too. Okay, uh, just gonna go in here first. Recover somewhere. Wait a minute, wasn't there... Just wondering, wasn't there something... Just wondering... Oh yes, this is a manhole cover. This leads to a, a place where I can save. Yeah, this is where I need to be. Thank goodness. I think I should save. Um, still have plenty of these guys, plenty of greens. Still caution. Okay, I think I should, uh, this will be the last time I use uh, a regular green herb. Start using my other stuffs. Okay, that's good. Yes. Liana. Okay. Just wondering if there's anything down this way. No. I'm gonna take care of those liquors. It's a good thing we took out the dogs here. For now, I'm going to use my gun if I can get one of them to come bother me. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Combine. There we go. Okay, I didn't need a gun shotgun. Oh. Got him. Okay, just a little scratch he gave me. Not too bad. Okay, I'm running starting to run low on my ammos now. Okay, I take back what I said about the um the handgun still feeling a little uh, like it didn't feel like it was really upgraded until I used it on a couple of uh, uh, enemies that oh let's see hold on actually this is not the place I'm trying to go to map actually it was okay it's the one one door further down
Okay. Okay, check. Plastic card. It reads weapon storage. Just what I thought. Cool. Do we need it? No, okay, we don't have it anymore. Cool. Weapon storage. Let's see how much weapons they actually give us. Shaw shotgun shells. Handgun bullets. More handgun bullets. Please let there be more. Oh, what's this? There's a machine gun in the side pack. With a side pack, you can carry more items. Will you equip it? I think the side pack will be a lot more... Yes. Because the machine gun is probably going to run out of ammos. And, uh... Yeah. Should probably save it for Claire. Whoops. Will you take the S machine gun? No. Just leave it for Claire. Because she probably... Oh, oh, wait. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, so she'll get the machine gun. I've been struggling with, uh... Let's see. Shuffling things around. Okay, um... What I will do... I, I wonder if Claire can carry this much on her own. Or maybe it's Leon. Just Leon. Well, either way. I mean, like, I wonder if it's just Leon that carries less, because on the original Resident Evil, um, Jill can carry more than Chris. Okay, let's see. We're going to go upstairs now. I wish I had a... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to... I should grab a... Uh, what do you call it? I should gra grab some green herb. Or not green herb, some healing items stuff. Resident Evil. Yush. Okay, um, I should move some of this stuff down here. I'll take one of these. Actually, oh yeah, just m keep moving stuff down here. I think we're good for now. So this is so this is Leon A. This is game A, so this is the first part of the game. I th I think like on the PS1 you can either choose to play Leon or Claire's first and it's up to you. And you can carry the save progress over and some stuff that um can be can be um like i think the shutter closing uh, depend works in the other game like claire is probably going to have an easier time going through that area with the shutters closed and she's going to get the machine gun as well she also has her own set of cutscenes as i think too i've never i can't recall if i've ever played claire first but um no, no, I think I played Leon first. Yeah, I did. Because he was disc one. Okay, what's this area? It's a paper more than a week old. Hmm. 
What's this? Ink ribbon. Nothing useful. Nothing in this locker. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Nothing in this locker. Oh. Oh, yeah. They're starting to give us shotgun shells now. Nothing in this locker. Nothing in this locker. Okay, let's see what's over here. Just in case anything decides to jump out at me. Hmm. No, I don't have the knife. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seems to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower pr prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5, I recently talked to the old man who works in the scra scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He is a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went as far as to design a special key and I locked and lock engraved with chess pieces on them. Huh. What? Okay, his name is Thomas. He's quite man, really enjoys, to, enjoys chess. He even went as far as to design a special key and locked engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. The one thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? Thomas was much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagined that I could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did w was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we have but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and uh, rest since he literally looked like the Walking Dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling good too good myself lately. What is this? A desert eagle? Will you take the magnum? You take the magnum. Is this thing gonna get up? Okay, nope. Okay, let's take a look at it. Check. Desert Eagle 550 AE, a high caliber magnum pistol, uses powerful dot 50 AE rounds by MI IMI Israel. Okay. So, we haven't run into any of those yet, but I'm going to save those for a possible boss battle. Nothing useful. Okay, um, we haven't found the rook pieces yet. I think there, there's probably one more uh, door that I didn't check yet. Hmm. I think that's it. Okay, we've got to go all the way around. Let's go check it out. Okay. Okay, so far so good. We're like three hour, a little over three hours in. I think we're making good progress here. We haven't died yet. 
came close to came close a couple of times. I think the you know, I think once I run out of certain bullets like um, handgun bullets or healing items, that's when the difficulty is gonna jump up at me. Gotta make keep making a winding left turns. Okay, here's the last door. Discard, yes. I wonder, is the is there a safe no I shouldn't. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, we just need to find that final uh, uh, chest plug piece there. It's probably in this room for sure. Look at this. Film. Probably not essential. A picture of a man on a carriage. Something is on the wheel. Light the queen, then the king, and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. Picture of a man in carriage, something's on the wheel. Okay, uh, light the queen. Queen, king, and jack. And the carriage will start. Okay. Oh, the number 13 has been etched. The number 12 has been etched. The number 11 has been etched. Okay, um, it's totally messed up. What is this? You can light a fire here. Okay, uh, let's light, let's light the fire. Oh, wait, these are, let's see, number 11, number 12, number 13. Okay, so the jack is, should be, um, so in playing cards, it goes all the way up to 10, then it goes to jack, king, queen, and ace, right? So jack would be 11, queen would be 12, and king would be 13. Okay, so let's take a look at this again. Okay, picture of carriage, something in the wheel. Okay, the queen, king, then jack. Okay. So, 12, 13, then 11. Okay, let's light this up. Okay. 12, we turn the faucet on. Yes. And then this one. And then this one. This should work. There we go. Hmm. The wheel's missing. Will he take the G cog wheel? Yes, I will. Okay, what is this cogwheel used for? I think I should go develop this film. Hmm. It's the only clue I have next. Cause I still don't have the the night the night plug piece.
Yeah, where does this, where does this thing fit? I'm wondering if I should save. You know what? I think I will. I'm not I'm not in any danger of running out of uh, ink ribbons anyway, so might as well use them if I feel if I have a hunch to do so. You know, this game would probably be a little a little less tense and a little more easier if you were given infinite saves. But also it's it's quite an inconvenience. I can see how they ditch that uh ditch this system here okay well i guess we'll hold on to this for now <clears throat> like i don't know how people can do it they can beat the game using only a knife it's pretty crazy Like, that is insane. Like, do they play Resident Evil from dawn to dusk? That is most likely the explanation. I, if you spend enough time playing the game, you get good at it. And, uh, yeah, I guess you start giving yourself a challenge for yourself. But I guess, it, like, you know, it, it is fun to challenge yourself, especially, like, um... When you're playing a game like there's no challenge to a game whatsoever it you know it just, it's just boring like i find that that it's kind of boring when i play mill slug and i have infinite lives i just kind of breeze through it but i do it anyway just to see what the how the game just to show the game off and see how many uh lives i use okay let's develop this film B okay somebody with a pain expression picture in front of the Aruka's tailor in front of the Aruka's tailor regressed into a zombie within two hours subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of epidermis in addition to feeling of nausea oh, excuse me this happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by R. Lambert. Alright. So what do I do with his cogwheel? Hmm. Check. It's gold-plated. It looks like a large clock cog. A large clock. Hmm. I can't recall where to use this. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna walk around a little bit here just to see if, uh, if it comes to mind where I should use this. Because right now I can't... I can't, I don't remember what this cogwheel is used for. Like, the thing I'm trying to do right now is uh, figure out where the, where the night, uh, what do you call it, where the night plug is. Hmm. Oh, where, oh, where. Pictures, stars, memories. There isn't anything useful. What is this? Oh, H gun bullets. I missed some. Nothing suspicious or out of the ordinary. This desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. Chris? Hmm. That must be Jill. A 
Okay, so we did find some bullets. I'm just wondering... Uh, oh, small ventilation shaft. It's far too small for an adult to fit into. What about a child? They keep talking about how it's too small for adults. Hmm. Okay, cog wheel. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, great. Okay, so I guess the zombies respond. None of these books, stuff and stuff. Okay, um... Where is... I guess if enough time passes or enough rooms are are entered the zombies respawn or after a certain time well after a certain part of the game I guess hmm I wonder if they're in all over the police station now oh can't wait for him to get close. Gotcha. Oh, great. Okay, I think I better leave it for until I'm slow. Until I'm super slow. Okay, um, cogwheel, cogwheel. Oh, where, where do I... Maybe I use it down here somewhere? It says this looks like it's made for a clock. But I, I don't recall seeing a clock anywhere around. Hmm. Where do I go next? Wait, how do I go up? How do I get up on the third floor? Police station, second floor. That goes downstairs. This goes upstairs. Police station, basement one. I'm going to see if I can find a way to the uh, third floor, unless there's something here for me to find. Okay, nothing. So far, I didn't, uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to use one of these. And grab something for health. Hopefully, I can find another red one. So, 
Okay, I'll go this way. Oh, 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 come on, come on, run, just keep running, 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 running. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, this takes me downstairs, but, uh... Duck. Oh yeah, I don't think I need to go here. Came this way already. And that down over there is that where I found the uh key. I think it was the diamond key I found down there. Okay, the cog is nowhere in here, is it? I mean, like, the use for the cog. Where is it? Um, hmm. Well, give me a moment. Okay, I think I have an idea where to go now. I was in the... Uh, I was going to the right place when I was in the bookshelf area. So I gotta go back there. Okay. Back upstairs. Take the faster route up there. Okay, so this is where I need to be. Back in this room here, there should be... Okay, I don't remember this area. I totally gapped this... Totally gapped this place. So yeah, I've never been in this room before. Actually, I should see if there's anything down at the... At this end over here. Hmm. I wonder why they have corners like this. I guess it's uh, to show that there's nothing... Well, I guess they're using the dimensions of the... The mansion, the mansion, the police station itself. But come to think of it, this police station is very mansion-looking. It's like Resident Evil 1. So here's the cog room. Hmm. It's a square hole. Oh, great. I think I'm missing something. It seems to be broken and it won't work. It seems to be broken and it won't work. It seems to be broken and it won't work. Unless... Let's see, hold on. Yeah, 
nothing peculiar. Hmm. So I guess I gotta go grab the, um, what do you call it? I gotta go grab the hand crank now. This is not the area I need to be in. Chick, chick. There's a lot of run, running around and backtracking in this game. Well, that's the all the that's all the adventure part of uh, Resident Evil. Well, not all of the uh, part of the part of the adventure adventuring in Resident Evil is collecting stuff and figuring out where to go. Let's see here, hand crank. We should be able to get a the the night thing eventually. If it seems like I'm, f well, like, like, um, if it seems like I'm figuring out stuff out fast without a walkthrough, just remember that I played this when it first came out, and I kind of have vague memories of where to go and what to do, and the last time I played this was about, played through this was about 14, maybe 15 years ago. Okay, let's, let's use this hole. Oh, look at that. Instant stairs. Hmm. Aha. So this is where we find the cog wheel. The iron plate the iron plate seems to have been recently moved. Let's check this thing here. Power source for the clock. The gears are clean. Hmm. It looks like a switch. Will you push it? Yes. No, nope, nothing happened. There we go. It looks like it'll run. It looks like a switch when you push it, yes. Okay, what is it? Oh, yes. That's exactly what we are looking for. An old dust chute, will you jump down? Yes. Broken heels. I probably descend very slowly. Whoa. Where are we now? No! no. Get. Get away. Oh, man. No. What the heck did... We... No. Uh oh. Hmm. 
Well, I guess I'm not checking that out. Okay, hold on. Where am I? Where are we at first? Oh, yes. I think we're close to where we need to be at. Let's see, where is that cog piece place? Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go check it out. Actually, is this the save room? This feels like the save room. I have to get back to Ben. Okay, I guess we should. Let's see, control panel release the lock. Lock appears to be open. No! got the story <coughs> Ben uh, <laughs> bitter irony the chief of police co-conspirator get that scum make him pay hang in there Ben My chest! It's burning! What's wrong? What's wrong? It was a face hugger. Whatever it was, it just squiggled right by. Mail to the chief. Mail to the chief, Mr. Brian Irons. We have lost the main, the main, the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Unfortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present. Con the only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. Who's Vickers again? Because I know it's Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Barry Burton, Rebecca Chambers, and I don't know who Vickers is. If it comes to light that the STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be uh, purely purely accidental whoops continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair William Birkin okay uh, I have deposited the amount of 10,000 of US 10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement the development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for the Umbrella, Inc. Oh, it is imperative that we proceed with this extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the, pl on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Bergen. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take the project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary. And contact me immediately throughout, uh, no, through Annette with these precautions. Any possible threats should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella, William Pergen. Okay. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! Do you 
read me, Claire. We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Okay. Let's see here. Anything inside? A miserable death. Okay, no bullets or anything like that. Okay, so let's see, we should. Oh, gotta make a run through here. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, get, get away, get away. Okay, don't get hit again. I do not want to get poisoned. Well, at least we're close to the uh, save room. Okay. I think it's time to save. Um, I'll put the Desert Eagle in here for now. Bishop, Knight, Rook. No, not Bishop. Bishop, King, and Rook. Plus Ink Ribbon. Yes. Why, yes. Save the Leona file. Okay. okay. We're still good to go. Let's roll. Okay, is it here? Here we are. Oh. Oh, it's that thing. Maybe I should have brought the Desert Eagle. Oh, man. What a crazy looking thing. It's barfing babies. Okay, um... Well, you asked for it, pal. Ah, get off me! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was close. Get, 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 get off me. Okay, um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, no. Okay, uh, I'll get this for the little guys. Oh. Okay, um, you, you, ah. Oh, got him. Oh, get off. Is he shrinking? Oh, he's... Oh! I'm trapped. Got him. Stupid little guys.
Okay, that was kind of a slow boss battle, but eek. All right. It looks like a panel to release the lock. Night plug, rook. Okay, let's use them all. Uh, there's a bunch of kids playing outside of that, so that's what you're hearing. Okay, what's, what, what, what's going on? Whoa, 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 okay. All the plugs are been released, okay. What do I do now? Waiting for these little guys to show up. Maybe I can leave this room and they'll disappear. Okay, I'll come back. Good, they're gone. Oh, okay, this is a door. I remember the store. Ada. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I oh, know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right. We'll do this your way for now. Okay, it looks like, um... Looks like we have uh, Ada in our... In our company now. Whoop. DR. I was just searching the area, see if there's any hidden stuff. Nothing hidden down here. Oh, a cold draft is blowing in. Blues! We have room. So far, I haven't really needed the um, blue herbs, so I'm just going to leave them by themselves for now. A save room. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that goes down. Oh, okay. What is this? It's a door to the warehouse. Will you open it? Not right now. But first, let's take a look around here. Sewer manager facts. Okay, user list of the connecting facility. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. That's what I say when I'm going to need to use the number two or something. Be sure to reduce... Okay, sorry. Oversharing. I know. Um, be sure to reduce... Uh, at, I don't know why, but I just got a sudden poop joke when it says make use of the facilities because, you know, huh, easy joke. Anyway, be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effect of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. Again? Okay. No, wait, he will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Yeah. Don't... Okay, never mind. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop making poop jokes. I almost made one there. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings and that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. At the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high. What? Dr. Birkin will be high? No, wait. Oh, I'm not reading this properly. As the proper proper probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, okay. Not he will be high. The attack probability will be high, okay. Take every measure conceivable to guard his life. I am not stoned. I, I assure you, not. I am not. <laughs> I just, uh, just for some reason, when I started reading this, um, this letter, my mind just started going places while I was reading it. And anyway, you will be informed of all other potential visitors, the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Secretary Chief Umbrella Headquarters. The sewer manager fax has been filed. Okay, let's take a look around this room here. Typewriter. And uh, is that, is that, yes, it's an ink ribbon. Okay. Okay, I'll put these way up here, because I don't need them that badly. Okay, I'll hold on to this for a second. I'm, I'm not going to save right away, because I am just about at the end of this episode, and I am not buying time. Actually, I am. But, um, anyway. A device to regulate the quality of sewage water. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, let's go into the warehouse. Hmm. Will you go down the ladder? No, not yet. What's this? Gun bullets. Good, I got plenty of bullets now. Okay, will we go down the ladder? Yes. Let's check it out first. Let's go have a look. Let's go take a look around. Because we just finished a boss battle, so I think we should be fine for a little while. Shouldn't be too crazy regarding um, danger. It's too dark to see anything. Too dark to see anything. Oh, what's this? It's an alcohol lamp. Plenty of fuel remains. Okay. What'd you look at that? Kaboom! Let's light up a lamp full of, um, in a fuel gasoline soaked room. Okay, there's nothing around here. What's this? Oh, yes. I will always take more of those, please. I think there's a mode like in Resident Evil. If you beat the game under a certain amount of time or follow some, uh, what do you call it? If you, uh, what do you call it? If you do some sort of uh, thing, like if you meet some requirements, you're, you'll be able to find like You'll be able to, you'll be given a gun in your, basically your new game plus. And the gun will have, like, infinite ammo and stuff like that. Or rocket launcher with infinite ammo. I forget which game that was... Oh. I forget which game that was where... I think it was Resident Evil 1. Where you had to do something and you got... Uh, you got a rocket launcher. But the thing was, the rocket launcher wasn't infinite. So as soon as you ran it out, that was... I think that was it until you found more stuff to use. Okay, let's use this. What's this? Oh, the Magnum bullets. Nice. Okay, I will definitely be sure to remember to use these on a later boss. I think of what's his name? Mr. X is yet to show up. The big goom Goomba from the Mario Brothers movie. 
Let's see. Yes. I think I found everything I need to find in this room. Okay, let's go back over here. No, I, I need that. Okay, we'll put that right beside there. Put that up there. Okay, we still got like about four, four-ish minutes left, so let's go take a look what's down here. Then I'll probably save off camera. Who's that? Oh. Leon. That woman was I have to talk to her. I'll be right back. He just bleed out here. Okay. He lost consciousness due to shock from the bullet wound. The wound does not seem to be mortal. What? Hmm. So word that's a weird that's a word of use that's a use of mortal I haven't uh, come across it's not a mortal wound okay oh look at this another map sewer map all right okay let's go talk to this lady who member she is. I guess she's on the run here. Oh, 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 okay. We're not going that way. Going this way. It's too dark to see what's inside. Okay, is this where she came? No. I don't need this right now. Okay, I think uh, that I'll leave that for Leon. So she went up here. There's a ventilation slot at the end of the ladder. Yes. Let's go up. Ooh, creepy. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. Giant, giant, whatever those are. Oh, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> Stay away from Raccoon City. You got giant cockroaches there. What is this? Fan regulator. You can stop the rotation of the fan briefly. Okay. Oh. Don't move. You're the one who hit that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus from you. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely. My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Okay, are we gonna get a cutscene of some sort, or...? Oh, yeah. This way. Precious G virus. 
No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect a G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Hit the sample. That did all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Why was she holding her hand out like that? Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Man, the geese are flying low here. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! What is this thing? No! Hurry! Wh what is this thing? So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of this virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Oh, cat fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was real unconvincing voice acting. Uh, uh. Seriously, like. It would have just been. I would have liked to see the some of these cutscenes acted out in, like '90s style uh, full motion video, like live action. Be hilariously bad. Like the voice acting is still hammy on this one. Let's see here. Where do I go from here? I just want to make sure that I don't leave no stone unturned. Okay, what's this? He's holding something. I don't need this right now. A machine to regulate the amount of trash. It looks like some sort of book. I don't need this right now. She doesn't waste any time um, grabbing clues and stuff. Okay, um, looks like I can go down that ladder. Let's do that. Yes. You know, I played, I was playing, when I, I was thinking about playing uh, Parasite, oh, Parasite Eve. Oh, great. She did. Not really. Oh. Get up, Leon. Get up. Get. Oh, what happened? I think I better go save. It's the end of the episode. We're going into overtime. If this was a network TV, there'd be a lot of cut footage. 
course, that's in an alternate alternate universe where I have a TV show on network TV. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use ink ribbon. Yes. Memory card. Ignore the geese. Ignore the geese. Overwrite. They're all honking, flying low over my my house there. They're flying south for the winter. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, yeah. So this is this is as far as we we've. Well, th this is as far as we've gone so far. We are like four hours in. Uh, it feels like we are past the halfway point. I don't know. It feels like we have at least another episode for sure. I don't know how long the final episode would be but anyway yeah so we will continue this tomorrow night and um uh we'll we'll see how how far we get so until then we'll catch you next time have a good one bye bye